guys welcome back to our channel mo and ash vibes i am back with another great news now this great news is for all the people who want to immigrate to canada now we all know that since december 2020 there was a temporary pause on the federal skilled worker program category now this pause was due to the pandemic and it continued till now because there were a lot of files that immigration was taking care of there was a lot of backlogs but according to the announcement made by the immigration minister sean fraser on 22nd april the fhs draws will resume in early july of this year fhs draws are basically the federal high skilled draws that includes the category of canadian experience class which is a cec category it includes fsw category which is a federal skilled worker and it also includes the fst category which is the federal skilled trades program not only this but according to the announcement most of the new applications will be processed within the six months of service standard which was the timeline before as well now this is a great news now this has become possible because the backlog inventory that they had in the month of september 2021 has been reduced by more than half and it is also expected that it will reduce further by July 2022. As we all know that before the temporary pause in December 2020, FSW was a very popular way for people to immigrate to Canada, especially people who did not have any Canadian job offer or did not have the Canadian working experience. This was the perfect way or the perfect opportunity for them to immigrate to Canada. Due to this pause, people who had no job experience in Canada or no job offer in Canada they were finding it very difficult to immigrate to Canada and there were very few options through which they could have immigrated to Canada ever with this good news there is again a ray of hope for all those people who do not have a job offer in Canada and want to immigrate to Canada it's a very good news for them and definitely there is a ray of hope and they can also now immigrate to Canada with this option Let's talk about what are the minimum requirements that are required in order to be eligible for this category. In order to be eligible under this category, although you do not need any Canadian work experience, but you still need a foreign skilled working experience, which means that you should be having an experience in the jobs that fall under the category of either NOC O or NOC A or NOC B. Now NOC A belongs to the managerial kind of jobs, NOC A belongs to the professional jobs and NOC B belongs to the technical jobs. Skill traits are also included under NOC B category. Now the skilled work experience should be within the last 10 years and it should be a paid work. If this work is not paid, for example, if it's a voluntary work or if it's unpaid internship, so basically any kind of unpaid work that won't be included in this category. The experience should be at least of one year, which means 1516 hours a year. So which means like if you are working a full time job, which is minimum of 30 hours a week, you should be able to cover these 1560 hours within a period of one year, which is 12 months. However, there are some people who are just working part-time jobs. So if you're working in a part-time job, so let's say if you're working for 15 hours a week, then to in order to complete your 1560 hours, you have to work for two years in a part-time job. So basically the crux is that you have to complete your minimum of 1560 hours and this work should be continuous. And if you are working multiple jobs in the same NOC category, same skill trade, then also it's fine. The next requirement is that you have to provide your language test results. You must take an approved test in English or French and then you have to provide the results for that. In this test, they will be assessing you in four categories. They will be checking your listening skill, your reading skill, your writing skill and your speaking skill. You must get a minimum score of CLB 7 in all the four categories, which is your listening, your writing, your reading, and your speaking. CLB is basically the Canadian language benchmark to test your abilities. After that, you have to put your test results in the express entry profile that you are making. 
Now these tests are only valid for two years. So make sure when you are going to apply for your application, this test is valid at the time when you are applying for it. After this, the third requirement is that you have to get your foreign education assessed, which means you have to get the educational credential assessment done from a designated institution. So this is basically done to see that whatever foreign education you have, how is it equivalent to Canadian credential? Which means, for example, is it equivalent to Canadian diploma or is it equivalent to Canadian certificate or is it equivalent to a graduation in Canada? So basically you are assessing your education to see what value it holds in Canada. So these are the three minimum requirements that you must have in order to qualify under this category. Another important thing is that if you do not have a Canadian job offer at the time when you're applying for your application, then you must also provide with the proof of funds which will show that you will be able to support yourself or your partner or if anybody who's coming with you, your family basically, you would be able to support yourself and your family when you are going to come to Canada. So you should be able to provide with the proof of funds. Also, please note that if you are applying under this category, you are allowed to live anywhere in Canada except Quebec because Quebec selects its own skilled workers. So once you meet all the minimum requirements that I just mentioned to you guys, then after that your application will be assessed on some selection factors. And these selection factors are your age, your education, your work experience, whether you have a valid job offer or not, English or French language skills, adaptability, which means how well you are likely to settle here. Once you are eligible and in the express entry pool, a different system is used to rank your profile. Candidates with the highest ranking score get selected from the pool. So this also means that if you are eligible, it is not necessary that you will be selected from the pool because as I told you, once you're eligible and once you're in the pool, there is another system through which they assess your profile and they score you. And of course, the highest ranking people are selected. But yes, it definitely gives you an opportunity to even try. We have also made some IELTS videos which are going to be very helpful for you. I have provided you a link in the description box and also provided you with the I button. You can click on that button and go through those videos because they are definitely going to be very useful for you and you will be able to score good score in your IELTS exam if you are going to follow the tips and tricks that I've mentioned in that video. So guys, I personally feel that it's a great news that the draws are going to open in the early July. Um, there are other ways through which people can immigrate to Canada, like a lot of people can come here as a student, then there are so many PNP programs that you can use. But a lot of those PNP programs requires you to have a job offer. But there are people who do not have a job offer and they find it really difficult to immigrate to Canada. So this is a perfect opportunity for people who do not have any Canadian experience, who are not in Canada at the moment, but they want to come to Canada, want to immigrate to Canada without having a job offer in hand. So this is a perfect opportunity for all you, of you guys. So with this, I'm going to end our today's video. I hope that you liked our today's video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button for more informative videos and share the content. Now I will see you in our next video. Until next time, ta-da!